Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I did this look right here. You might think it's a little bit dramatic, but I wanted to go dramatic. I was feeling it, so I went for it. I created these metallic lips on my own, so I show you the two products that I use to create this lip look. Um, also, I love how the eyes and the lips also tie in together. So if you want to know how I achieved this eye look and how I achieved these do-it-yourself metallic lips, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I have my brows, my foundation and my eye primer done. So we're going to jump straight into eyeshadow. I just thought I would save a little bit of time. I'm going to use the Tartlet in Bloom palette and use the... Um, soft brown shade here just to start the blending process. The brush I'm using is just a fluffy brush. So we just want this to be super blended and really soft. Next I'm taking this red brick shade with a luxe soft crease brush from Zoeva 221. And this is just going to be blended out as well in the crease. Next, I'm going to take this gorgeous shimmery shade um, on a classic shader brush and just place that on the eyelid. Then to really take things to the next level, I'm going to use this deep red shade and place this on the outer corner. Today I'm feeling a wing, so I'm going to use Inglot's AMC Gel Liner, and this is in number 77. So I'm going to conceal under the eyes with 1.5 Concealer by Anastasia. And I'm going to take an angled brush first and just clean up that winged liner. Just want to make it extra sharp. Then just taking the set powder by MAC, I'm going to set all of that into place. Might as well set the whole face as well and I'm using NARS Luminous Powder. To do so and this is the color Santa Fe. I'm just using a large powder brush from Sigma. Going back in with that brick color I'm going to run that along the lower lash line. Then with an angled brush I'm using a dark shade to also run really close along the lash line so you can see that smoky red color coming through underneath. As you know, I don't really like a dark eyeliner in the waterline, so I applied a cream eyeliner um, just on the waterline just to make the eyes really pop. Okay, I'm just going to add mascara to everything and I'm using Volume Million Lashes by... It is by... It is by L'Oreal. So I'm just going to apply Belua's Fluff and Edgy Lashes. I'm just going to use Diffused Light by Hourglass to um, brush off that powder underneath the eyes and around the face. To highlight, I'm using Opal by Becca and the Anastasia A23 brush. This is my favourite combo at the moment. And I'm just applying some in the inner corner of the eye. Okay, today I'm going to contour with the Sculpting Powder by Kevin Aquan. And I'm also using my Zoeva Luxe Powder Finish Brush. And then, of course, I'm using my Healthy Glow Powder by Givenchy and my Hula Brush and just going to bronze up the face. I feel like I'm 
feel like this really pulls together the highlight and the contour it just like melts into one for lips I'm using lip insurance by Too Faced before I apply my lipstick now we are going to apply Dose of Colors Chocolate Wasted. Such a gorgeous color. This is going to be dramatic, so brace yourselves. I'm feeling a little bit more daring today. So, I'm going to use Inglot's Pigment in 81 and this is going to go in the middle of my lips. Let's start with the bottom. Wow. Thanks for watching guys and if you recreate this look or the metallic lips please tag me I'll put the hashtag down here so I can see your creations let me know if you want to see more tutorials like this one and I will see you in my next video